Hello everyone and welcome to our midweek devotional update. Pastor Hogley with you today from Faith Lutheran Church, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. By way of announcement is to encourage and invite all to join us for our midweek Lenten worship services. Those services are held on Wednesdays at 3.30 and again at 6.30. As we turn our thoughts to God's Word today, a question for you. How is your eyesight? Maybe we have been ones who have struggled with our eyesight. Maybe it's something that as we've aged, uh, we've noticed that our eyes are changing and that the clarity of seeing distances or other close-up items have changed over the course of time and corrective lenses, whether it be eyeglasses or contacts, have been needed. Certainly we know that there are those who are born into this world with the inability to see, having never had the gift of sight. Physical sight is indeed a, a blessing that, that we enjoy. We have the privilege then of seeing the beauties of God's creation. We have the privilege of appreciating and experiencing the relationships in the world in which we live in. But when it comes to sight, even more important than physical sight is spiritual sight. Jesus came into this world to give sight to the spiritually blind. And as we hear in our Bible reading for today, Jesus uses an opportunity to teach about how important it is to have clear spiritual vision. Clear spiritual vision that sees Jesus as he truly is. For there were many in Jesus' own day that saw him as something different than what he came to be. Many were looking for a Messiah that would be one who would make their earthly life better. Things that were hard for them in their life under Roman rule, maybe this Messiah would make it much easier. Establishing a kingdom that they could be a part of here in this world. But Jesus came not to set up such an earthly kingdom, but to give spiritual sight for those who could see that he was something much bigger than one who would make an earthly kingdom here. He was one who came to give a spiritual kingdom. The religious leaders of Jesus' day were such blind, spiritually blind individuals. And so in our Bible reading, as Jesus heals a man who was physically blind, he speaks about the importance of that spiritual eyesight. What a blessing it is <clears throat> for us to have that blessing of spiritual eyesight that sees Jesus, especially now during this Lenten season, as we see him as the one who made his way to Calvary's cross to pay for the sins of all people, of you and me, and the one who would be the one who would have victory over the grave as we look forward to the glorious resurrection on Easter Sunday morning. We hear these words that Jesus speaks about the importance of spiritual eyesight to see Jesus as the only Savior of the world from John's Gospel, chapter 9. As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciple asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, Jesus says, but this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. As long as it is day, we must do the work of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Having said this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, to wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had been blind. Now the day on which Jesus had made the mud and opened the man's eyes was a Sabbath. Therefore, the Pharisees also asked him how he received his sight. He put mud on my eyes, the man replied, and I washed and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he does not keep the Sabbath. But others asked, how can a sinner do such miraculous signs? 
So they were divided. Finally, they turned again to the blind man. What have you to say about him? It was your eyes that he opened. The man replied, He is a prophet. To this they replied, You were steeped in sin at birth. How dare you lecture us? And they threw him out. Jesus heard that they had thrown him out. And when he found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? Who is he, sir? The man asked, Tell me so that I may believe in him. Jesus said, You have now seen him. In fact, he is the one speaking with you. Then the man said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. Jesus said, For judgment I came into this world, so that the blind will see, and those who see will become blind. God's words for today. We pray. Dearest Lord Jesus, by nature we are spiritually blind, for we cannot see who you are. We are steeped in our sin, and yet by the power of your gospel and the working of the Holy Spirit, you have opened up our eyes of faith, given us spiritual sight, so that we may see, believe, and trust in who you are, God's own Son and the Savior of the world. Dearest Jesus, as we follow you during this Lenten season, we pray that you would continually enlighten us with that knowledge and truth that our sins caused you to go to the cross, and yet you willingly paid the price for the sins of all people. Give us the joy of knowing that because you live, we also will live with you one day in the glories of heaven. In your name, O Lord, we pray. Amen. Have a great day in the Lord, everyone. We'll see you in church real soon.